And there's something that I noticed about this email, which was very interesting. Hi guys, and welcome back to another business blog. Thoughts, tips, musings, advice, actionable stuff that you can put into your business today. Um, so, I just wanted to talk to you about the topic of email again. It's one of my loves, not. And uh, something that I noticed, I thought I'd share something I noticed today. So today was my first day back from paternity leave. I've been away for the uh, best part of two weeks. And I know I probably shouldn't have done, but over that time I've been dipping in and out of email just to kind of deal with the, the stuff that you know I could deal with very quickly while I was away. But predominantly not doing that. And um, anyway, the point is that I tried to keep on top of it. And today I came back and I had about 500 odd emails that I still needed to kind of do or, or deal with action wise, um, which is quite a lot. But that's not my point. When I was, I sat myself in my in my office today and I kind of told everyone that I was going to do, you know, catch ups and stuff. And I just sat there and I got through a, a good proportion of email just trying to get my head around it. And there's something that I noticed about this email, which was very interesting, which is that a lot of people send group emails, right? So somebody sends an email out to a number of recipients. But here's the interesting point, that they often ask a question in that email, but they don't define the recipient that they want to answer the question. So think of this as, uh, in this way. Me, I send an email out to a group of people, I pose a question, but I don't specify out of that group who it is that I expect to answer, i.e. I'm hoping that everyone will answer or some people will answer. But here's the thing, that's not gonna work because what's gonna happen, and I guarantee this, is that the, the people, the recipients that are receiving that email are all gonna look at it and go, right, we're on a CC here or maybe a BCC. No, actually there wouldn't be a BCC because I wouldn't know. Uh, a CC or a two field and there's a load of other people that could answer this. So even if they're not being unhelpful, they may not respond because they might think, I'm busy, someone else can deal with this, let them deal with it. And then what happens is everyone thinks that and nobody answers it. And the problem here, I, in fact, I dread to think how many balls are missed or dropped because someone sends an email to a group, poses a question to everybody, no one responds, that person forgets they've sent the email, and then it doesn't get answered. And then two months later, they suddenly remember. Then they get knocked off because they think that no one responded and that everyone hates them, blah, 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 blah. And it's really interesting. I, I noticed an inordinate amount of these kind of emails today. And I don't know why I noticed this. It was just, it was bizarre. I, I kind of, maybe I just noticed it in a couple and then I started looking out for it. Um, and I just thought to myself, wow, this is incredible. And this was happening internally in my organisation and externally, and it seems that everybody does it. So the actionable tip, I guess, is A, don't let yourself be one of those people, or you will fall into that trap. B, if you are, don't think that everyone hates you if no one gets back to you. And C, um, if you're going to pose a question in a group email, and group emails are the worst anyway, but if you're going to pose a question in a group email, specify the person that you feel is going most likely to be able to answer that question. Um, and then perhaps say, that person, and I'd be interested in the rest of your opinions as well, um, to give yourself the best chance of getting communication backwards. Because it's your responsibility to try and get that. It's not necessarily, you can't blame people for now, then not responding. Everyone's busy. Um, if you haven't specified that you need a response from a n a one person, you cannot expect that that person to to respond to you. So, I thought I'd just share that with you because it's something I learned today, and that's what this vlog's all about. Um, I'll be back all all week. I'm with you all week. Um, so yeah, until then, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>